how do you hold this? Wally was released at the height of movie tie-in games. Not only were there console games and three different ones at that, but there was also a plug and play and a bunch of other weirdo titles for consoles you've never heard of. So today, we're gonna be looking at the unsung Wally video game, starting with the DS game. Spoiler alert, it's not very good. Wally for DS was developed by Helix, a studio created by THQ to do one thing, make licensed games for portable Nintendo platforms. They didn't last very long. This was their last game. It's a puzzler with some platforming elements, at least when you're playing as Wally. The first level expectedly serves as a tutorial teaching you the mechanics of the different cubes. Normal cubes can be thrown at switches to activate doors and bridges and stuff. Explosive cubes can push you up ramps and across pits. And magnetic cubes can pull you up ramps and across pits. Puzzles are overall fine. There's some like technically good ones, but they're not actually fun to do because of how sluggish Wally is. He's so slow and his limited range of movement because of D-pad controls is not helping. Eve plays a little better. I didn't dread her levels, which are just on rails flying. They're fine, but sometimes the hit detection feels stupid. So is there anything good about the game? It looks good for something on the DS. It's in the same sort of in-universe art style as the advertisements in the movie, which is really cute and charming. But these first few levels really don't look great. They're all the same boring aesthetic with no music most of the time. The Axiom is kind of better, but the game runs a lot worse. It adds a lot of enemies and moving parts that makes the DS upset. Like Mo, there's tons of him. He doesn't do damage, but he can stun and push you. Stewards, they have lasers that you gotta take advantage of for some puzzles, but the game runs so poorly when they're on screen, it ends up feeling like super hot. There's a couple variations of them that appear in later levels, like the one with homing attacks and the one that literally can't miss, but all the enemies are so annoying to take care of. They don't have health, you just have to push them off the map with a cube, which is tricky and takes a while to reset if you miss. Yeah, no, this game ain't too great. Don't play it. Hey, remember Leapsters? The Leapster was an educational GBA-looking thing for babies. Um, I'm playing this at 20 years old. Right off the bat, the Leapster can only handle about 15 frames per second, so it's just gonna look like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this game is a little collection of mini games in which you can unlock treasures that play a little animation of Wally playing with them. First game, Axiom Action. You play as Eve, and you have to shoot the steward with the correct answer on it. What's the question? Which one isn't a number? I spent like $30 on this. Game 2, Sorting and Recycling. You have to look at the colored squares and tap on the groups with matching colors. Hooray. Game 3, Stargazing. You have to click on the number that the game tells you to click on, and then draw lines in between the stars. I had some trouble with that part. Level 4, Rocket Ride. You point the spaceship at the planet you're supposed to go to, and then press the A button. That's it. Game 5, the last one, thank god. Creative cube stacking. Place blocks on the right to mirror the left. Guys, don't play the Leapster game. Holy shit. I had to buy a Leapster for the video because there's no emulator, and now I can't really resell it because it's developed weird dead pixels, but they're yellow. Like, what am I supposed to do with this now? You know, forget the hook. Wally is actually a pretty comfortable controller. It's a bad controller, but it isn't the worst thing to hold. It's more comfortable than this thing. This game was developed by Hotgen, a toy company behind a ton of other plug-and-play games. There's a big hub world that connects all the included minigames, but also has some stuff to do in it. Trash is scattered throughout the map, and if you collect 10 pieces, you can make a trash cube awarding you with an artifact from ancient humans. I don't know if these artifacts actually do anything, but you can collect a bunch of them. Also with the artifacts, the voice line where Wally picks them up is really weird because it's Ben Burtt's unaltered voice. He's the guy who voiced Wally and made R2-D2 sound like that. For some reason, they didn't use the Wallified version of this clip, they just used the raw audio. Did someone forget? In the overworld, you can also swap to Eve, who can destroy barrels revealing artifacts or trash to pick up. She also scans the ground and finds places for Wally to dig up buried artifacts. Every few minutes, there's a sandstorm that happens that refreshes the map with new trash and artifact locations. The overworld is a really cool inclusion, but we're here for the minigames. There's three of them, each having 15 levels and an additional hard mode. Trash Dash is the first one I played. You play as Eve and have to clear the path ahead of Wally by destroying trash cube stacks and filling in chunks of ground. On regular difficulty, it's kind of boring, but on hard mode, you have to determine the most optimal order of operations because Wally's speed is increased significantly. Though across both difficulties, it's kind of just like, why doesn't he just stop? He has breaks, right? Solar Solver. Here you have to recreate the shape on the floor by pulling stacks of trash. Hard mode features more complex shapes and blocks to solve with, but I don't know, there's not much to say about it. It's kind of simple. Axiom Adventure is the third and most complex minigame. Your goal is to get Wally and Eve to the other side of the room by solving puzzles. Eve can shoot dispensers that drop trash for Wally to make cubes from and stun enemies. Wally can use cubes to hold down switches that open doors, block these lasers that make you have to restart, and build bridges for him to cross. The game can get surprisingly complex with its level design when it uses all of its tools at once. It's really not bad, it's just you have to play it with this thing. The Wally plug and play is the best one I've ever played. There's a lot to this package. Like, if this was my only Wally game as a kid, I think I would have been satisfied. Do you got games on your phone? Wally had a mobile game, not like mobile games of today or the classic era of the App Store, a mobile game for flip phones. How is it? It's kind of gas, bro. After playing the DS game, I looked at this and thought it'd be more of the same, a stinky ass, poorly performing puzzler. But after giving it a try,
try? Holy shit, this might be the best one so far. What a lot to beat. Wally for the flip phone is a side-scrolling platformer where you have to solve puzzles to collect human artifacts. That's like what all these games are about. The controls feel pretty good. I have no complaints. I'm actually impressed. There's a couple kinds of cubes, because of course there's cubes that you can throw. It's Wally. You should probably come to expect that at this point, but every time I'm like, damn, this shit again? Normal cubes fly forward forever when you throw them, which is in line with Wally's canonical abilities. Heavy cubes will fall immediately when over any gap, and magnetic cubes will stick to metal surfaces. You can also make a heavy magnetic cube hybrid. So the main sort of puzzle formula of the game is using these cubes to get around, and it's damn satisfying. It's also decently hard. Almost no level is just a brainless shot to the end. Some are, but for the most part, you gotta stay locked in and engaged the whole time. And every level has multiple things to collect, each with their own paths you have to figure out. There isn't really a linear sort of progression. You have a bunch of levels that you can choose between and go back to once you've unlocked new skills. This little bit of freedom felt really cool. Like, if I'm stumped on one level, I can just go get stumped on another one for a little bit. I'm stupid. If you're watching this on an old-ass flip phone, go to the App Store and download the Wally game. It's pretty good. Do you know what the Sky Game Star is? Maybe if you're European, you'd know, because Sky is a British broadcasting company. Exactly what they do is kind of confusing to me. Like, what's the difference between pay TV and cable? Uh, who cares? We don't gotta know what they do. Sky Game Star was a service they launched that let you play games on your TV. And when Wally came out, it got a game on there. It's I. It's an incredibly simple 2D platformer with almost nothing to do in it. It's broken up into three parts, each with four levels roughly retelling the story of the movie. The first part is on Earth and is just painfully easy. Even Wally levels that you flip-flop between have no interesting puzzles or anything in them. There is potential for interesting level design here. The building blocks of the switches, keycards, and turrets are fine, but they're not used for anything. The next set of levels take place aboard the Axiom. They're a little better, there's still not much to them, but it's definitely a little bit of a step up. The next set of levels take place on the Lido deck. And finally, there is a little bit of complexity. Puzzles can span across multiple rooms, you have to be conscious of enemies, and conscious period. These levels are all right, and while I do think some parts can be tedious, like most of my deaths came from me just trying to recklessly speed through the game because I was bored, they're a little fun. And then the game ends. Yeah, like I said, there's not really a lot to this one. Like, it's cool for what it is, but it ain't much. Yo, the V-Smile? The V-Smile was another education video game system that was just an absolute bitch to set up an emulator for. And then the ROM was in Swedish. It didn't really matter all that much. It's another piss easy game for preschoolers and it's kind of silly to criticize it for that. Like the first level is just match the color. The second is run forward with basically no obstacles and match the shape. Level three, match the number. Level four, go through the door with the correct number. And that's it. I'm sure some kids back in 08 had faster times than the official speed runs. But, I don't know, the game looks nice. That's something that is going for it. And I'm so glad I didn't buy a V-Smile for this game. I was this close. And like, after the Leapster, I I don't even know, man. I could... <laughs> and that's it. Now I've talked about every Wally game. Every single one. Fine, we can talk about the Flash games. For kids looking for even more Wally content, me, there were a number of Flash games made for the movie, like Wally Pinball. It's cute. It's got some good references to the movie, like Ship and Eve. It's pinball. Tic-tac-toe. Guess what? Wally's Cup Shuffle. It's the shell game. Which cup is Hal under? Wrong answer, stupid. Scrap shoot. Duck hunt. Pop. Pop the bubble! Trash tower. It's like Jenga, kinda. You gotta take away parts without letting Hal touch the electrified cable. I couldn't get past the first level. Wally's slider. I'm not even sure if this one's official. I suck at it. Say it like Wally. From what I remember, you had to mimic his voice line, so I'm actually glad it doesn't work anymore. My roommate hears enough weird shit from my room already. Space escape. You gotta push yourself towards Eve through space, but the controls are just the worst thing ever. Wally match, a matching game that crashed OBS every time I played it. I should get that checked out. Jigsaw puzzle. Yep. Wally, the video game. The the video game? Who else was thinking Candy Crush? Space Race, you play as a 3D model of Wally with no animation, and you drive around in blank space. Spaceball, POV, your Pong. Treasure Roundup, I've had this nightmare before. And that's all the Flash games. Image Maker doesn't count, that's a tool, not a game. No, I ain't gonna trick you, we got some more stuff to cover. The Blu-ray had mini games. Okay. Eve's Pod Blaster, it's asteroids with gophers and auto 
Auto in space. What is he attached to? While he's dodge and duck, I'm gonna be real, I have no fucking idea what this game was about. I thought you had to land on, like, these little colored bits of the ship, but that didn't work. I just died anyway. Moe's mop up madness. Clean up Wally's treadmarks without running into the stewards. Bernie's breakthrough. It's great. It's burger time. And that's it. For real this time. So if you're looking for something other than the main two games, I'd recommend you crack open your old Nokia and text uh, the, the wacky number from <laughs> from this advertisement I found. Check out the videos I made of the main two Wally games. Comment if you have any like interesting thoughts or reflections. That's one of my favorite parts about the other ones, just hearing from people who grew up with these games and their like experiences and how they relate to it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, class is dismissed. Have a wonderful life, kids.